Hello everybody, I'm Sniping is Fun, and this quick little video I want to bring you guys today, it's just more or less a little question I want to ask both myself, and I want to ask all you gamers out there, no matter if you're a Nintendo gamer or not, I want to ask this question, and I want to hopefully see some responses either within the comment section or hopefully even the video response. Video responses would be nice too. Um, it's a little question I just want to ask, and I want to see what fans and gamers, you know, have to say about this. And it's, uh, I was just thinking about it like a couple, like about an hour or so ago, like earlier today, and I'm like, you know what? I really want to answer this myself and see what others have to say about it <coughs> to see just how much they would be interested in this. Um, and it's about the Wii U, and, and it's a, the question is, let's say you do buy a Wii U, either at launch, which will probably be November, or within the launch window, let's say December, January, February, March. Let's say anywhere between November and March. Let's say you buy the Nintendo Wii U. Um, and let's say you had an infinite amount of money. There was no limit to your money. You could, you had, you could spend as much money as you want. I want to ask all of you out there, how many of the games that we have confirmed for either launch or launch window, what would you actually buy? How many games are you actually interested in? I want to actually see the people out there, the Nintendo gamers or just gamers in general. I want to see what you guys all have to say. Like, What games are you actually really interested in? If you had the ability to buy as many games as you want, you had no limit to the amount of money you had, what games would you buy within the launch and the launch window? I'm just wanting to ask all that out. Like, I just want to ask all of you that, like you, and you have no amount of money. You can say all the games you want. You can say, oh, I just want this one game, or I want these two games. You know, I just want to see what everyone actually is interested in. All the games we've seen confirmed at E3 and within the time beforehand and after that, like you know, games that you would expect either at launch or in the launch window. I want to see responses of you guys. If you had an infinite amount of money, there was no limit. How many games are you actually interested in that you would really, legitimately want to go out to the store and buy? Um, and and that's it. I just want to see a response to it. And right now I'm going to say mine. Basically, if I was buying the Wii U at launch, I'm not going to buy a Wii U at launch. That's one thing I want to say. And it's not because of the E3. It's not the E3 was. Eh, they had good games there. I mean, I, I don't think it's as horrible as people are saying it is. I said that before when I did my my thoughts on the on the conference. But um, um, I don't think it was as horrible as, pe as horrible as people say it is, and there's a lot of people out there that say, "No, I'm not going to buy a Wii U because the E3 E3 was horrible." And you know, people, someone, something like you know what Shokyo said, like if that was true, you wouldn't have bought like let's say a 360 or let's say a PS3 or something because, or even a Nintendo Wii earlier, because they, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony have had bad conferences before, like Sony in 2006 and Nintendo in 2008, I think, you know. If, if you do it like that, then there's no reason why you have your consoles you have now kind of a thing. Um, E3 doesn't mean anything, because we know stuff's coming, but I want to get back on subject here. Like, it, I, for me, though, I just don't want to buy a Wii at launch, because I want to wait a while, like a couple months, like into 2013, like around the E3 time, probably around then, like let's say March, April kind of time span, and wait a little while, and just get some money together for some games and everything and I, I the whole idea of launch consoles I'm mean, even though if buying in early 2013 it's still technically a launch console even though I know Nintendo's reliable I just don't want to buy that and also the whole wait and see what's coming kind of thing but the thing about that is if I did in fact buy it at launch there's like a ton of games I actually really would want to play um like it's not like I want to go out like I'm not wanting to go get that launch because there's nothing there because there's a lot of games that they've actually either confirmed for either launch or launch window that I really want to play. I think about like six or seven games. So if I had the infinite amount of money, I'd have the Wii U and about six, seven games right off the get-go but, right from the get-go but I'm just saying it's not like, I, I don't have the money first off for that and I'm not going to be getting it like right at launch or within launch window. Probably more like mid-2013 but if I was buying it let me, the games I would pretty much get would be a Pikmin 3, of course, but I need to play Pikmin 1 and 2 New Play Control beforehand because I've never really played Pikmin. It's not really like I'm not interested in the series, I just never got, re got around to really playing it because I had the one for GameCube, the first one, never really played it and got rid of it, never played the second one, have the first one on the Wii now, have very little played that, <laughs> and have yet to play the second one on New Play Control version either, which one day I will. Um, but yeah, Pikmin 3, I'm interested in playing that and trying to get into Pikmin more than 
I can't, but beforehand I'll try to do the one of the new play controls on the Wii. Um, new Super Mario Brothers U, I'm a Mario fan, want to play some Mario, the game looks good regardless of the fact that, you know, people are like, eh, I want 3D Mario, eh, I want to play 2D, there are people out there that like that. I like 2D, 3D Mario, I don't care, Mario is Mario, so I don't care, but it's interesting because I'm a fan of the series. Uh, Zombie U, I actually am interested in that, that actually looks quite interesting, and it looks like it'd be a really fun game, especially if we can compete online and see who can get survive the longest and stuff like that, you know, that kind of thing, like the online aspects that might come from that game. And then there's Rayman Legends. I still haven't played Origins yet, which I plan on getting into that eventually, but I do like the Rayman games for the most part. I've played a few of them in the past, and that's one I'm definitely interested in, especially the fact that you can use the, ta um, the tablet to help players. So it's kind of like a five-player co-op kind of game. That's cool. Um, let's see what else. There's Assassin's Creed 3. I'm starting to get into Assassin's Creed. I have all the other ones, console ones, on the PS3. I'm going to play myself, play those versions of the games to ke catch myself up on the story, and then play the third one on the Wii U. And then, let's see, what else do I have? There's Nintendo Land, which actually I'm interested in. That looks interesting. And I want to play that. And I think it's, compact it's coming packed in anyway, so it's like you get that automatically, practically. And I'm trying to think, what else did I have? I'm trying to think, I know I can think of one more game, and I'm trying to think what it is. I do know I want to play Batman, even though I have the PS3 version of Arkham City, I do want to play Batman. And there's another third party game I'm trying to think of, and I think, actually I think that's it, let's see. There's Pikmin, Mario, Nintendo Land, uh, Zombie U, Batman, and uh, Assassin's Creed 3, but I know there's one more, so that's 8 then. I'm trying to remember what the other game is. Um, uh, I really don't know. I had another game, and I can't think of it now. I think that's it. That's about like those seven games, six, seven games, and uh, eighth one if there was one. So basically for me, if I was getting the Wii U at launch, I'd have about six to eight games to get if I had unlimited money. Let's say if I had no limit on the amount of money I could spend, I'd have about six to eight games within the launch, launch window. And, and that's, that's me. But I want, this is all really going out to you guys. I want to see what you guys actually have to say about this. I really want to know what people... I was like, if they had no limit on the amount of money they want, what games would they be interested in getting? Like, what games would they truly want to play? And if they had a chance to buy all of them, which ones would they, you know, pick? You know, that's about it. Um, and that's my video for today. I hope you guys like it. I want to see some comments and video responses. Hopefully we can get this. So I want to see what other people have to think. I want uh, other people have to say about this. I'm Sniping is Fun. I hope you guys like this video. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. And have a nice day.